EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to showcase the finest young golfers from around the globe. From scenic Pebble Beach, it's live first round coverage of the season finale, the Corn Ferry Tour Championship. This promises to be a fun four days, a lot of storylines to get to as we check out the early leaderboard. A number of folks in contention, including our leader, Always nice to get that first one out of the way, and that's going to be a good one to get this tournament started. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. 112 to the hole, pole cut right in the middle. Okay, that's in for par here at the first. And she's going to hold on here at even par. Frank, interestingly, this hole number two plays as a par four for the U.S. Open. It is a par five. It's absolutely gettable, and players must take advantage. Certainly, Rich. Off that back tee, uh, really, you've got to grab a driver. I know there's bunkers left and right, but the decision is whether that tee shot finishes in the fairway, because if it does... You're going to have a crack at this par five and two. If it doesn't, then you play the layup. Right, in the fairway. From the fairway, let's go to Noda. When you find yourself in the fairway on the second at Pebble, you have a great opportunity to take advantage of one of the easiest holes on the course. Struck it so well, you could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Ah, that's a half a ball away from going in. Very well read. Okay, no problems there. Finishing off a birdie at number two. This is a pretty hole, the third. 397 yards, just a gentle dog leg to the left. And you do have the option. If you're longer, maybe you just take it up over those trees and cut the dog leg, leaving yourself very short shot in. Or you can play it out to the right, have a little bit more in, but still certainly with a good chance at birdie. That hit that tree hard and bounced straight into the rough. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Steven. It's 123 yards is the number to the front of the green, but 129 is the number to get it all the way to the flag. Pin tucked in the front left-hand portion of the green today. And a good approach shot, just not quite as close as what you'd like, but still solid. So now this, right around 25 feet for birdie. Ah, nicely done. Things looking good early. That's birdies at two and three. With Stillwater Bay on the right, this is Pebble's picturesque 333-yard par four fourth. Tee shot could be anything from long iron to driver, but beware of the nine bunkers surrounding the fairway and green. <laughs> 
from the fairway, we check in with Noda. Aggressive play off the tee, pays off ball sitting nicely in the fairway, and a very good chance to get it in tight. Okay, it's not stone dead, but that's not too bad. It's about a 60% make percentage from here. This is for birdie. Yeah, that's a well-played hole. It's a birdie here at four. First par three of the round, and Frank, I'm reminded of the great history that Jack Nicklaus has here at Pebble Beach, and, and that goes well beyond what he did as a player. Well, that's for sure. I mean, we know his playing credentials, but he won the second of his two U.S. amateurs here in 1961. I actually said that was the best he ever hit the golf ball, but... Um, his uh, legacy really as a designer, you see right here in front of you. I never got to play the old fifth hole, which is further left, but this is an absolute beast. It plays around 190 yards, very narrow green, and that is a cliff on the rock, believe me. Yeah, solid shot right there, and it'll be a good look at birdie here at number five. Just a touch firm there. That'll be about three, four feet coming back. Yeah, that's good putt. It is a par here at the fifth. And she's going to stay at minus three. Well, this is where the excitement starts to build early in a round at Pebble Beach. I know it's the sixth, but you're coming into possibly one of the greatest stretches in all of golf. This is a 498-yard par five, goes up the hill, Pacific Ocean in the distance, chance to make an eagle here, and chance to feel really good about where you're headed. No issues here, that is into the fairway. Every bit of that threw it all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. Oh, yeah. That's how you take advantage of a par five. It's in for an eagle three. Superb. Moving on to the 106-yard par 3-7. One of the most beautiful holes in the world. Craggy rocks, blue skies, and the beckoning Pacific beyond. Absolutely breathtaking. And this is looking really good. That is a low, penetrating ball flight, very well executed. Now this for another birdie. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And this will stay a one-shot lead. Frank, as you know, of all the sports played on land, golf's the one with the best views. This is as good as it gets, but you, you need to focus now on what's ahead of you. This eighth hole is a real challenge, isn't it? It certainly is. Uh, the temptation is to pull the camera out, but really it's about what club you're going to pull off this tee. There's two runouts on the right side, about 250 yards, left side about 270, and really that white rock is a great indicator of the line. Boy, the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. 
Frank, just the visuals on this second shot to number eight, mind-boggling. Yeah, this is really where Pebble Beach attracts the best players in the world. Sitting on top of that hill, and you look at this green that angles away from the player on the player's right, plus you actually have to look at the putting surface. There's only a small area of flat surface. If you come up, you know, anything sort of five or six yards short on that putting surface, it will come off. But also, too, you can have a little bit of open knowledge from touching the people. But you can use the back edge of the green too to roll the ball back. Okay, right on line. That's a birdie here at the eighth. And that's going to stretch the lead to two shots. We finished the front side with what is often considered the most difficult hole at Pebble Beach, 483 yard par 4 ninth, ocean, all down the right and bunkers and deep rough on the left. No room for error here. Yeah, that's a beautiful tee shot. Now watch this go. Oh, it's gonna trundle right on down the slope. From the fairway, let's go to Noda. Well, when you find your ball in the fairway at the ninth, you hit a great tee shot, one of the most difficult fairways to hit on the entire golf course, but now it opens up the opportunity to hit a great second. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, uh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Chance now for another birdie. Yep, that's nicely done. It's a birdie here at the ninth. And that is going to mean this was a 28 on the front side. Seven under par. Hope you're enjoying this little stroll along Carmel Bay. And the golf is as good as the view. This 10th hole is 444 yards. I would tell you that it is the widest fairway at Pebble Beach. It is but it doesn't feel that way because of the way it slopes left to right and if you're not careful this one can get away from you and head toward that pacific this started toward the left side well that was a great tee shot but when you're that far down there the fairways get a little narrow just finished in the first cut And a good iron shot, just not quite as close as what we'd all want to finish, but still. A long one coming up here for birdie. That one just going to sneak on by. So that's in for par to start this backside. And this will remain a three-shot lead. Well, this is where Pebble Beach changes significantly. We're going away from the Pacific Ocean now, up the hill toward the forest. Frank, what do you think of the 11th hole? Well, it, it's tricky, Rich. But number one, because it's blind, as you've detailed, but uphill and it's sea level. So that tee shot's not going to go that far. Um, there is a run out down that left side up inside the tree line there that's about 308 yards but you're not going to go that far um so so really this you have to respect this hole just hit a fairway fine the green is up above and this will play at least a club longer Straight at it. It's a really good line. Oh, just a, a beautiful performance. And this round looks like it's going to get even better. Just a beautiful iron shot. The sound off that club face. 
Okay, that ball online all the way. It's a birdie here at 11. This 12th hole is certainly not as famous as some of the other par threes here at Pebble Beach, like number seven or 17. But 12 is a good one at 202 yards. Ideally, you want to work this right to left, just a baby draw, and try to get it to land softly because the green tends to be really firm. Okay, a friendly bounce there, and that will make its way onto the putting surface. Now this for another birdie. Ball coming downhill from the top side of the hole, but shouldn't be that much break in it. Not that time. Pretty good effort, but it'll wander a couple of feet by. That one safely in, and it's a par here at 12. And she's going to stay at eight under par. Here we are, Pebbles, 13, 401 yard par four that some consider a bit of a breather on the course. Birdie is definitely a possibility here. We had a good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee. Second shot up coming with that pin tucked in the front left. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Oh, how about it? A beauty there. It is in for a birdie. Frank, the 14th hole, par five, it is one of the most difficult par fives in championship golf, isn't it? It certainly is, Rich. Not just because of the length of the hole, 570 plus yards, but um, reachable only really by the longest hitters in the right conditions. But it's the third shot. I, I've got to rank the third shot as probably the hardest short wedge shot um, right up there with the 15th hole at Augusta. Good shot that is home and two on the par five. Remember made eagle earlier in the round, Frank. That may be a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. Oh, yeah. That's how you take advantage of a par five. It's in for an eagle three. Superb. You may have heard of the 17-mile drive near Pebble Beach. It's scenic. It is one you absolutely want to put on your bucket list, but you don't want to get there by chasing a tee shot onto the road. That's what can happen if you blow it way right here at 15 if you do keep it in play. At 393 yards, this 15th hole is absolutely one on which you can make a birdie. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. Good soft hands. That is nice 
nicely done. Chance now to get another birdie. Yeah. And yes, never in doubt. It's a birdie here at 15. We now begin one of the most beautiful stretches of finishing holes, all of golf, a march to the sea at Pebble Beach, starting with a 400-yard par 4 16th. Key here, carry the island bunker. And she's in the first cut. Not terrible, but may take a little work to recover. Second shot now from just a foot or two off the fairway. Uh, it's been a beautiful round of golf uh, today. It's been a clinic with the irons and... Oh, more evidence there. The swing, the strike. And look how close that is. Ah, oh, that is pure roll there. That is down for a birdie here at 16. Well, here we are, 17th hole, and this is where you can make your mark on this board. Frank, so much history at this par three. It's just a great hole too, Rich. You know, that hourglass-shaped green on the angle, but, but you're right when you talk about history. You go back to 1972, and this hole played into the breeze. It was a one-iron for Jack Nicklaus. Said one of the greatest shots he ever hit, actually hit the flagstick, nearly went in. And of course, one of my favorites is 1982. Tom Watson had missed this green to the left, and the late Bruce Edwards was his caddy. And uh, they were looking for options because they were in such a perilous situation with the U.S. Open on the line. And Watson said, well, what about if I just hold it? And if you look really closely at the footage, as Watson starts to run across the green, he's pointing his finger back at Bruce and saying, I told you so. And then just a few years ago, too, Gary Woodland hit a chip it on this green and made three. Pretty good line, very close to going in. No problems there, that's a par here at 17. And that's gonna keep this large lead right where it is. Well, here we are now at arguably the greatest finishing hole in golf, 536 yard par five, Pacific Ocean, massive fairway bunker stretching more than 100 yards on the left and cypress trees, just a few of the things you need to contend with. Now, it all looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. Eagles, this is an incredible performance. Well, well, I'm used to birdie feasts, but eagle feasts? I didn't think you could do that. Come on, another eagle on the round. And this will wind up an absolutely mind-blowing round of 57. So, Frank, today, in a word, incredible. Just made a complicated game appear so simple. So that should just about do it. For all of us at EA Sports, thanks for spending some time with us. On the road to the Masters.